Honorable George Ibezimako Ozodinobi. I represent the good people of Njikoka and Ochadunukofia. I'm from Anambra State, Mr. Speaker. I want to, first of all, thank you for the courage. When I arrived this morning, almost 8.30 in the morning, you already seated in your office. And by that courage has made majority of the members to be here today. Most of our staff couldn't enter this great assembly. In as much as we don't support the entire strike that is going on, it is important for us to also emphasize that the executive removed oil subsidy from day one. They were sworn in. The palliative that was promised is just on paper. It has not been implemented. What we are saying today, what we are saying, Mr. Speaker, what I am saying today, I don't want this strike that is going on to be narrowed to a particular state. We are representative of the people. This is people's parliament. Let us discuss holistically on the best way, the way the deputy speaker, what he brought forward, to bring parties together. We are not here to judge. We are not here to also say that the executive is wrong or the labor strike is wrong. What you have started this morning will put House of Rep in the good books of people who voted us into power. Because there are hungers everywhere. Most of us cannot go back. We need to implement what has been promised us. We need to, the executive need to start acting to implement the palliative they have promised this country because it has delayed so much. That is what I want to emphasize. And I saw the importance, I saw the importance of, I saw the importance of this moment. But I didn't want to come to raise it as urgent importance for me not to be accused of being partisan because we don't talk of politics here or party. Mr. Speaker, I beg my honorable colleagues that we must all join hands together to totally adopt what the Deputy Speaker have pleaded that we'll do. I think I'll rest my case.